Uh, as you can see, still got a pretty good mess going on between getting stuff from school, bringing it here, and then bringing stuff to work that I need. But uh, I hope you enjoyed part one of my new work box update. So stay tuned for part two. Let's check it out. This next drawer is one of my favorites. This is my wrench drawer. So starting on this side, it's kind of split half and half. This is the standard side. This is the metric side, aside from these expert tool swivel heads here. Um, mainly all snap-on stuff. Got uh, four angles here for doing hydraulic work and those tight spots. Got some gear wrench, double box end with the offset. These are really, really super. I got a deal on them. Uh, I believe it was by the metric and get the SAE for free as a promo. Got some craftsmen's back there. My line wrench is here, snap on. And then my metrics go from 24 down to 10. I uh, got the expert soil heads one inch down to, what does it say, 5 sixteenths. And then this kind of just mirrors that side, but it's all the metric stuff. Picked these up on a good deal down through here. I um, believe uh, I gave like $25 for all those, and then $25 for the standards. So $50 for the, for the uh, stubbies. To the left of it, next smaller drawer is kind of an overflow drawer. Um, I treated a tailgate for these blue point offset ratcheting wrenches, both sets for a Dodge tailgate. Got some crow's feet here, and then some craftsman uh, hex heads if I needed them. Next drawer over is my hammer drawer. So we have some snap on stuff. We got some blue point stuff, uh, Mac tools, and then also some Harbor Freight hammers. You know, these hardened hammers, <laughs> they're not really gonna, you know, they're not precision items. And these are definitely good buys from Harbor Freight, along with, um, I call this like a tiger claw or whatever for opening crates and whatnot. And I have a rubber uh, mallet. This right here is uh, it's my grandfather's. I accidentally broke it, so I'm going to have to fix the handle on that at some point. Got the old rubber dead blow, brass dead blow, and then this is a three piece set of uh, the craft, no, snap on dead blows. In through here, got a. Uh, scribing set with uh what do they call those compasses i guess that's not the right term for them but i call them compasses and then this is kind of like my drunk drawer area i have a uh, two metric style tape measures along with a metric style because a lot of the hydraulic hoses we make are in uh, the metric system um, got a lot of paint pens and magic markers for uh, once I go through and torque something to spec I like to mark it to know that I've done it I uh, got some extra leads some extra keys uh, that's okay uh, just miscellaneous bits pilot bits and that's all really in here you know this is kind of it's my uh, junk drawer but I try to you know try to keep it pretty much organized down all the way to the right this is kind of my make it move drawer so I have a variety of pry bars along with the other ones up top uh, good full set of lady slippers these are good alignment tools not like car alignment we're talking heavy duty equipment stuff so like lining up holes on say uh uh, bucket blade you need to put a new blade on um, and you want to line the holes up before you start running uh, all your bolts up through and then back through here are for my air hammer 
these bits, um, these easy red scrapers are awesome for windows. Uh, we get a lot of new equipment in that has stuff taped to the windows, so you just spray it with your window cleaner, then you go back with one of these scrapers and it cleans up real nice. A uh, couple of different paint scrapers along with a snap-on uh, Exacto knife. Auto loading, it's pretty sweet. Um, you just press that button and it pops the old one out and pops the new one in. All right, guys, I kept those videos nice and quick. So, uh, you know, I spent in, you know, like 14 minutes of me watching, uh, me just go through my tools or whatever. So stay tuned for further ones. You know what it is. Your brother Eddie, signing out. Stay greasy, brothers.